we're just going to be working off of something that we've already done before. Now I wish they wouldn't have filled all this in because it actually makes it more confusing. But I just want you to look at this chart. Say we have a triangle, or triangle, a rectangle that is 3 by 5. Okay, so I'm going to draw it. I'm a visual person, so I need to, three, I need to see it. Okay, so we have a 3 by 5. Now, to find the area of that, it is 15, right? 5 times 3 is 15. Length times width? We just go length times width, right? 3 times 5? Does that make sense that it would be 15? Now, I want to apply a scale factor of 2 to 1, or 2. Now, that means we take 3 times 2 to get 6, and 5 times 2, right? So this is just the original 3 times 2, and this is the 5 times 2. And we've done that before, we, right? Just multiply it by 2. Now my new area is 60, because 6 times 10 is 60. Now, what's weird is now when we want to look at the area scale factor, not the perimeter. Today we're doing area, tomorrow we're doing volume. The area, what if I take 60 and divide it by 15 and I get 4? My area scale factor is 4, and my linear scale factor was? two. So what happens when you double the sides? What does it do? Okay, now let's do one more. Let's do, we don't need to do the whole time. Let's do a nine by six. Everybody loves to multiply nine by six. Okay, nine by six. If you multiply that, you get 54. Now, I'm going to do a 1 to 3, so a 1 third. I'm going to 1 third these, so my picture should get smaller. So 6 times 1 third, that's like 6 divided by 3. That's 3. And 6 times 1 third is 2. So now, 3 times 2 is 6. That's my new area. Okay, because I multiplied. Now remember, it always goes new over original. So I get 6 over 54. Now can someone put that into a calculator and go math, enter, enter, and tell me what it says? One-ninth. Now, can anybody tell me, if I just gave you, I've given you two linear factors, what do you do to linear scale factors to get area scale factors, do you think? In other words, kind of like those things that we've been doing when you finish your things. What do you do to two to get four and one-third to get one-ninth? What's the same thing? Huh? Multiply it by itself, a.k.a. square it. So this is the same thing as 2 squared. This is the same thing as 1 third squared. Because 1 third times 1 third, 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9. So if this linear scale factor is 3 over 2, what do you think the area scale factor would be without doing all the work? 9 over 4. Very good. How do you get 9 over 4? That's 3 over 2 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. 2 thirds. Now that's the linear scale factor. What would be the area scale factor? 4 over 9. So, here, this sentence is very, very important. The area scale factor equals the linear scale factor squared. Because 
you, multi you multiply each side by something, it actually, now you multiply those together, it squares it. Got a question? We are on page 41. Okay, um, so what I want to do is I just want to, the rest of the notes in this is like really bad. I actually want to get right to here. Okay, now what I want to do is just let's, uh, I want to do B and C together. So, I, But before we do that, we need to, I'm going to give you all the radius. So that's 2. This is 1. This is 4, and this is 3. Now, do you remember how to find area of a circle? It's pi times r squared. So the, the area of this one would be pi times 4 squared, and that works out to be 50.24 centimeters squared. Now, I should be putting centimeters in all these because it's that's my unit centimeters, three centimeters. So that's the area of that circle. It's 50.24. Now let's look at B. If I find the area of that one, pi times two squared, that's 12.56. This area equals 3.14 oh, centimeters squared. I've got to put my unit centimeters squared. And my very last one, when I put it in, I get 28.20 centimeters squared. Okay. Now let's look. I just let's do B. No, I don't, why did they fill that in? It makes me mad. Okay. So B. Now the radius of B. So this is the radius of B. Is four centimeters. So we wrote that down. The area is fifty point two four. Now if the linear scale factor is two to one, what would be the new it would be 4 to 1, yep, which equals 4, if we were doing new area. And if you look, right, this one is twice as much, but you'll see that this is four times as much. So to see how the linear will just be twice as big, the area will be squared what that was. So this, you had to multiply by 2, right? You multiply 2 by 2 to get 4. Area, you would need to multiply by 4, which is 2 squared. Okay, so let's just look at this graph here. Okay. Okay, let's do a couple of these. Now, here are the dimensions, 4 times 9, and the new dimensions were... 12 by 27, what do you think the scale factor was? The linear scale factor, to go from here to here, what did happen to each side? And remember, we can go new over original. And what do we get? 3. So the scale factor would be 3 to 1. What do you think the area scale factor would be? Five. 
It should be 9 to 1, right? Now, I just want you to look here. This is the original, and it was a 9 by 4. The new one was 27 by 12. So do you see, oops, do you see you just multiply by 3 to get here to here? But 9 times 4, that's 36. Okay, what's 27 times 12? Someone get that for me? What would that be? Hundred and twenty four? Three twenty four. Okay. Now just take since this is old and this is new, what happens if you take three hundred and twenty four and divide it by thirty six? What do you get? Nine. See the area gets nine times larger. If you multiply your sides by three, your area gets nine times larger. Or three squared. Okay? And what do you think is going to happen tomorrow with volume? You're going to be cubing it. And that would be, so if I give you the linear scale, fa scale factor of 3, you're going to go 3 times 3 times 3. The volume scale factor would be 27. So it's like when you multiply every side by 3, your volume gets 20 si 27 times bigger. Okay? And so it's a kind of a weird concept for students to see, but if you just take and try it, right? 320, hey, it got nine times bigger. I multiplied by sides by three, and it got nine times bigger. That's because it's three squared. That's a six. What's my bad writing? You haven't been here for a few days, so you're not used to my bad writing. Way to like show me up in front of the whole class. Okay, let's look at this one. Convert these to linear scale factors. These are all area scale factors. So what would A be if it was linear then? What would it be? So these are the area scale factors. We have to convert now to linear. What would it be? 4 to 1. Right? How'd you get that? You square root to go backwards. Okay? So if linear, and let's do area, let's just do a little chart. If area was 3, the area would be, so if it was 3 to 1, it would become, what's the area scale factor? Scale factor. What would the area of scale factor be? 9 to 1. Okay. What if it was 1 to 3? What would be the area scale factor? 1 to 9. Okay. All we're doing basically is we're taking this, we're squaring it to get that way. Just square it to get that. And if we wanted to go back and say I gave you 1 to 16 over here, what would you do to go back? What would be my new scale? What would be the linear scale factor? 1 to 4. And then it makes sense that 1 to 4 is 1 to 16. You see how it works back and forth? Okay. How about B? That's the area scale factor. What would be the linear? 5 to 3. Okay. So let's. Uh, We'll go back here and I'll give you your assignment. So what you're going to be working on. Okay, so number two, do the rest of the chart. Finish three, four, five A, seven.
Seven's a good one. Let's see how many people can get seven without any help. Okay, sound good?